All right, today we are working on a 2005 International School Bus. It's actually towed into us. It has a Power Stroke 6.0 engine or VT365, whichever one you want to call it. It's pretty much the same thing with a few exceptions. It has a crank no start issue. Here's the fault code that we are dealing with. SPN 164, FMI 1, ICP unable to build at engine crank. That's what we're going to be focusing on during this video. I'm going to crank on it so you can see what it's doing. If you notice the ICP is not able to build above 400 pounds. For those who don't know, this engine requires closer to 1000 PSI to start. So we do have low ICP. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to full field the IPR valve by sending my own 12 volts in ground. What that's doing is bypassing the ECM and the wiring. So at this point, if the truck starts, I know to chase a ECM or wiring problem. If not, well then we'll go from there. And since I'm working by myself, I'm going to run my harness all the way inside the bus. And I'm going to be energizing and de-energizing the IPR valve while I'm watching the ICP to see if there's a change. And that'll tell me that the IPR is also working. All right, got my power and ground set up here inside the bus. As you can see here, I'm going to be using my power probe. I'm going to send power to it. I'm going to crank on it. And let's watch the ICP. Watch the reflection on the screen for my power probe. Sending power to it. Crank on it. builds up to 400 pounds and that's it I let off comes back down send power to it again comes back up so the IPR valve is doing something so I'm not gonna go after the IPR valve I'm gonna do an ICP leak test that's the next step this is the fitting I'm gonna use I'm gonna remove the ICP sensor from the oil rail of the passenger side and I'm gonna send shop air to it and we're gonna listen for a leak and I'm also gonna fulfill the IPR valve to get the maximum potential all right I got it pressured up I've got this cap removed over here on the passenger side of the valve cover so we can listen and I also have this hose at the oil fill cap. Listen to it. And clearly here it's leaking on that side. This other side, not so much. But we're still gonna reseal both sides. So it looks like we found our leak. Let's go ahead and disassemble and go under the valve cover on the driver's side. Of course, they don't make anything easy on these buses. Gotta remove all this stuff just to gain access to the valve cover. All right, got the valve cover off. Now let's search for the leak. The dummy plug on the front, the oil rail, it's not leaking. But notice the standpipe on the rear. That's where our leak's at right there. I remove it and let's inspect it. Yep, yeah. O-ring split open. Got this one off, got the dummy plug removed also. Got the oil rail cap screws off. Let's lift off the oil rail and inspect the standpipe. Either way, we're going to replace it, but I just want to see what it looks like. I don't see any cracks. The soul ring is okay also, but we're still going to replace the standpipe and the dummy plug. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And if you enjoy these videos, make sure you give it a like, comment, and also hit that notification bell for the next video. Catch you on the next one.